Gonna talk a little British Soap Awards. Uh, Haas of Enders asked me to do this in the comments, so shout out to Haas of Enders. Gonna give my take on some of the winners from the British Soap Awards. I have more of an issue with the fan-voted awards than the actual panel awards. And I'd also like to say I do think award shows in general never get it right, in my opinion, from all the award shows I've watched over the years. But uh, let's get right into some of these awards. I'm not going to talk about the award that Doctors won, which was for Best Single Episode, because I've never seen an, an episode of Doctors in my entire life, so I can't even comment on that because I didn't see the episode. But we will begin with the best storyline. This is the one that the panel got completely wrong. I understand kind of why they gave this win to the Hollyoaks rape story for Mizbah. It was a social issue, and I'm sure that's why they went for it. But I do think the uh, the hate crime on Coronation Street that the, we got over a year's worth of story for still deserved to win. I mean, I've talked about this immensely on this channel and why Coronation Street has been my number one soap opera for every month I've been doing rankings except for one is because of how well written I found that story and because of all the different story threads, how character driven the story was. Meanwhile, I mean, the Mizbah, the rape story, it was, it was good, but I don't think the writing was even half as strong as the Coronation Street. And even, I don't even think the Ms. Boss story deserved to win over Jean's Bipolar on EastEnders. I think that was even better written than the story that ended up getting the win here. So I do disagree with best storyline. I think both the Coronation Street story and Jean's Bipolar on EastEnders were actually better written stories, even if, I guess, the Hollyoaks Ms. Boss story was more social, but I don't even know if that's completely true. I mean, all three stories have very social issue elements being raised. So, definitely disagreed with that one. Uh, best young performer went to Millie Gibson, who plays Kelly on Coronation Street. I would agree with that one. The other nominees were uh, Sunny Kendall, who plays Tommy Moon on EastEnders, Amelia Flanagan, who plays April Windsor on Emmerdale, and Jaden Fox, who is Bobby Costello on Hollyoaks. They got this one right, probably, too, even though I don't know if any of those four are my favorites. Scene of the year, they also gave this one to the, the Mizbah didn't consent scene. This one, I mean, compared to the other nominees, I would probably agree with this. Like I said, I've never seen The Doctor, so I don't know what their scene was. Coronation Street, Johnny's Death wasn't my favorite thing of Coronation Street. Emmerdale, the bridge collapse. We all know if anybody's watching any, any of my Emmerdale videos, you know how I feel about the Mina story. In general, the EastEnders Hall of Mirrors episode was a good episode, so that would probably be the only contender for me wh when it comes to the, the scenes here. But I, I understand this one more for Hollyoaks getting the win here more than I do for actual storyline. That scene out of these nominations the best one. Best on-screen partnership, they gave the win to uh, Lacey Turney and Jillian Wright, who are Stacy and Jean on EastEnders. I think they got this one right. I'm glad they at least gave the Jean story one win here, because it deserved more credit than it probably got in these awards. Some of the other nominations, um, you know, the on-screen partnership of Roy and Nina on Coronation Street. A strong contender. Don't watch Doctor, so I don't know Rob and Karen. Uh, Liv and Vinny on Hammerdale. Eh. Uh, Sienna and Stay on Hollyoaks. They gave the, the right duo here, I guess, or on-screen partnership. Stacey and Jean, they got this one right. Best Dramatic Performance. Another panel voted award here. This was a, a tough category. We had Sally Carmen, who was Abby on Coronation Street. Um, Jillian Wright, Jean on EastEnders, uh, Mark Charnock, Marlon on Emmerdale, Harvey Verdi, Ms. Bond Hollyoaks. 
this is probably the toughest nominees. They gave it to Mark Charnock, who is Marlon and Emmerdale. He did a fantastic job with the stroke storyline. To me, it was between him and Jillian Wright. They both put their all into the the medical stories that they are telling. So, I mean, it's a toss-up here between those two. So, honestly, either one of those could win. The Marlon story on Emmerdale, one of the best done stories on Emmerdale I've seen on a long time. Because Emmerdale's not my favorite. Which, which we will get to here soon with the fan votes. Best newcomer, they gave it to Ross Boatman, who was Harvey on EastEnders. I, I'd agree with that. None of the other nominations really stood out. I'm glad Ethan on Holiday Oaks did not win. That would have been ridiculous. Um, I do think Patty Beaver, like Bever, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce the name. He plays Max on Coronation Street. Would have been the only other one that I would have liked to see win that award. Best comedy performance, of course, Tamika Epson, Kim Fox, EastEnders. Yeah, they got that one right. Nobody else in this category makes me laugh. Villain of the Year. This was the one they got the most right. Maximus Evans, who played Corey on Coronation Street. The villain who got the big story started for Coronation Street. The, the two, I guess villains in this story won the awards for coronation street even though kelly was not a villain in the end i guess they've redeemed her but Corey, of course caused that storyline so i mean at least that storyline got a little bit of praise at these awards they deserved uh, more than they got in my opinion but i'm just super glad that gray did not win this award a terrible drawn out villain on EastEnders and super happy Mina did not win this award one of the most ridiculous cartoon villains I've ever seen on a British soap opera she belonged on an American soap opera probably I do think Summer on Hollyoaks a contender as well she was a pretty fascinating villain at times but they got this right for sure and now for the the viewer voted awards that Emmerdale swept ridiculously First of all, I don't even like the best family category, but I get it with British soap operas. But man, don't you all, you British soap opera fans, don't you ever get tired of the Dingles? Really, you had to go and vote for the Dingles to win this award? One of the most annoying families in all of soap operas that have been completely overdone. I mean, I've talked about this on like every Emmerdale video, video how much I feel like the Dingles or would hold this show back for me. They've just, there's too many Deagles. But apparently the British soap friend, you love you some Deagles for whatever reason, a reason that I will never understand. I do understand how they became popular in the first place. That I do understand. But I don't understand how they're still popular when there've been so many Deagles now and they are all overdone. It's just overdone. Uh, you all voted Paige Sandu, who played Mina on Emmerdale, as the best leading performer. Should not have won over Jillian Wright. I mean, I don't even know if she should have won over Mark Charnock. I don't think she should have won over anybody else nominated. I mean, no offense to her. I mean, I guess she played the hell out of the cartoon villainy, but it's just such an overrated character. But, I mean, with Emmerdale sweeping the viewer-voted awards, what else are you going to do? Emmerdale also, of course, won the Best British Soap viewer-voted award for reasons I still don't understand. I guess the British soap fans left do not appreciate character-driven stories that Coronation Street does and would prefer to have cartoon characters like Emmerdale. guess that's what I could sum up from the viewer voted awards that I completely disagree with. But overall, I think the awards were a mixed bag. I agree with some of them, but the viewer voted. I guess my opinion from an American here on the, the British soap operas differ from the love that is being showered to Emmerdale. Because to me, Emmerdale has always been, of the main four British soap operas, my least favorite. 
And Coronation Street's not even my favorite. All the praise I've been given to Coronation Street being number one in my rankings is because I truly do believe that it's the best written soap opera in the world right now. Hollyoaks has probably always been my favorite, followed closely by EastEnders, but if anybody cares. Anyway, that is my opinions on the uh, the British Soap Awards for 2022. A mixed bag of results.